decided uh, to name uh, our team as the part your mind and uh, my, uh, mind uh, the part. We're just looking at sort of uh, broad theoretical ways to sort of get into the, the physical aspect of the part and to use technology to sort of enhance those experiences. Um, and then we, we started to think about really how people use the part um, on a daily basis when they're just going there, what people are doing, and how they sort of react and move about the park. And we wanted some, um, to come up with an architectural idea that would facilitate the two kinds of learning, the cerebral and the um, uh, physical or experiential. So we wanted these sort of nodes. We looked at the park, and there's a lot of indicators and markers that suggest activity. So we wanted to create uh, an architectural item that, that would enhance this technological aspect and really bring people together. So we came up with, um, so those were some of our locations for the marks, and then we came up with these marks that would deploy when students arrive for different events. So you'd have different kind of um, st structural marks, like the umbrella mark, um, that would come up and, and expand, or you would bring pieces to this so that it would, it would when there's larger groups, it would become a larger, um, it would grow. And then there's the, um, the sound mark, there's sort of different things, so you can all plug in there with your headphones and uh, listen to a lecture or listen to music or whatever. And then the, maybe there's other marks that work more with the parts, so there's a water mark that um, you for cleaning or drinking, and a feed mark that would uh, help the part and feed, feed the animals. So you have something like this. So you, maybe you're a student and you're here because you have a lecture that's going to be projected on the park, or you're here because there's a, um, a film or something that you'd like to see, or you're just with someone coming through the park that doesn't know really what's happening, but these things are activated and you can tap into them if you choose. Well, in this, t tell me that, I don't know if you can do this here yet, but it is in already in American universities, it's not uncommon to be able to download lectures on it. Does this exist your own? I mean, it's, it's a technology that's available, right? You can, you can, you can create, you can lecture, record it, and then make it downloadable. And there are students who only attend lectures that way on their iPod or whatever they're doing their players. So it's already so prevalent um, that even, even the the teachers of conventional classes are thinking about the ability to take the information. Other places, and I guess when I look at this project, and be, maybe just because I know architecture projects too well, and I see that it is being so similar to what was already being imagined in the '60s, I want there to be something more subversive here that isn't just kind of reiterating <coughs> what already is institutionalized, because a lot of things that might have been uh, you know, avant-garde, if I can use that loaded term, in the 60s are not avant-garde anymore because they were imagined, so they were co-opted, and so they're not progressive. So how do you take those ideas and not make them, like you're saying, this, you know, CCTV more, I mean, just having a lot of information is not necessarily liberatory. I mean, it can be extremely, that's why there are people like the Unabomber, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't exist. So I just I just wonder. I mean, this is not actually directed only to you as a group. So uh, maybe at the beginning you were introduced, but I only saw. Yeah. <laughs> but to all three of the groups we've seen so far is that there's been nothing that I could say that um, I feel like I hadn't thought of that. But is there anything anywhere? It's of course. It happens all the time. Is it? Yeah. yeah. What, what, you have to look at the time right now. Parametric surfaces. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, there are moments of revelation. I yes. Don't you have them? No. <laughs> 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 I don't have them. I don't have them. I don't have them. I don't have them. I Giving up drawing is not the same as giving up, giving up uh, drawing. But I'm off to this. I'm more interested in this more you. I, I, I still discover from time to time students who you know, they're given a program. The really interesting one is one says, yes, that's the program. That's triggered something in the back of my head to do something completely different. They're always the interesting ones. They are the creative ones. And just to answer the program is a sort of boring thing in the world. But to, to, to use a program to trigger something in your head is, it was always the trick. 
you know, we used our, I think in architecture, we used, we used a fascination with architecture to appear to be questioning architecture. But if we hadn't had the conversation about architecture in the first place, we'd have probably been sort of staring at the ceiling. There's a, there's, there's, I'm going to have to sing, I'm sure you're aware of, till the open university. So you can kind of download stuff of your video and now and other words, of course. And that goes, that's been going for a long time. But of course, they found it necessary to have things like summer schools so that this invisible group of people could get together for a week or two. I don't know why, but I don't think that. But all, all I do know is that the divorce rate goes up in like, September or October. So it's, it's, it's something else that goes on because of this process of birth. So most people. Most people who are having babies. They're delivering their hours at home where they've been learning. And um, you know, think rather than closed and trapped by the home. You study that statistic. That's fantastic. I did. And, um, <laughs> well, I just observed it in my answer. And, um, and it's quite, I think it is quite interesting, which gives a whole lot of areas to sort of Note that education is somehow a form of liberation from an entrapment in something else. And generally, people using the, um, the or studying at the Open University tend to be a more mature variety. But I just want to go back to that, that image of the people in the tree. <laughs> Did you make that image? Yeah. Okay, quite well, nice I, I thought that was actually the most interesting image. Yeah. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, me <laughs> Because um, I'm sure you were. I mean, you, you, was it, who was that person? Actually, he's uh, the first member of our team. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, whoever it was, he looked like a tree, so it was completely yeah. obvious that there, there was a, it was a person until you looked a bit further. And to me, there's a possible clue there that you don't actually make this sort of very high tech thing that comes out of the ground when you go faster. That it's just slightly odd things that are manipulations of what's already in the park. In a way, that would be more fascinating than, than actually making this thing, which is over-designed, and actually turns you off, in a way. St. James Park is not the same as Hampstead Heath, or is not the same as, you know, Royal Park Wigan, or wherever it may be, in that it is, it is very much in the centre of London. It's quite small. It's probably fairly well policed. I suspect that actually you can't get up that much fun games there as you can in Hampstead Heath because it's small, it's observed, it has a quality restaurant in it, and the queen living nearby. And therefore, you know, even if you can't see the observation cameras, they're probably there. You can either argue against that or say, ah, this already gives it special institutionalism, which is even different from Hyde Park to different from Regent Park, Holland Park. And I think there's a whole conversation. What sort of plug-ins would you have on Primrose Hill that would be different from the ones you'd have at James Park? And would you have any at all by the time you get up and to I think in the same way that you could be a correspondence <coughs> course studier or something, you can be a birthday person, which means that you don't have to be full-time. Or you can be a Oxford <coughs> person, which means that you have a, a, another, or whatever. They're all learning geography but they're learning it under different strictures, which at this moment in history, you can play towards or you can pull away against. And the gadgets then sense, become further beyond or, or repository for this consciousness of doing something. Are we, we are in a, a sunny, quite sunny Sunday, but we're sitting in this room. We are conscious of wanting something over and above what you can adequately get at the end, etc. So I think it's to do with that. And the gadget spoofs, any gadget spoofs. Play it up or play it down.